I know, really. It's very confusing because air styles are very similar. Hold that knot down here. So you're all right. Down there. You, young lady. You are a young lady. Of course you are. Stand here. I'm getting terrible trouble with them. Stand here. You're going to catch the ball. Galileo said, I know how a cannonball flies through the air. Nobody else in the world had worked it out, and he did. He said, when you fire a cannon, it wants to go on a straight line forever, but it doesn't. Something pulls it down. The same stuff that pulls us down. I know how it works. If in this distance it falls that much, we'll call that one unit. In the second equal period of time, or equal distance, distance it will fall not two of those, but two times two, four of those. Then three times three is nine of those. Then 16, then 25. So we're going to throw this ball on the line of the rope. It won't go on the line of the rope. I can't do it. It doesn't matter how hard. But if I do it at the right speed, I might get it to pass all the yellow cars and land in your hands. I'm going to form the parabolic curve. But my throwing is terrible. So it could be up there, could be down there. Are we ready? Here we go. Oh, it was bad. It was bad, yeah. Very good for me. I can be terrible with this. These are, they're all kind of new ones. That is more of a long. It's still a, par still a parabolic curve, but we need this in a different shape. So there is always, every flow through the air can be described by a parabolic curve. Then you jump down. 